On the west side of Taihu Lake, in the southern region of Jiangsu Province, is Yixing City, where China's ceramics industry is based. Yixing, known as the capital of pottery, Jingdezhen is known as the capital of porcelain. It is also the home to China Yixing Ceramics Museum, the earliest known ceramics museum in China. In December 2013, the museum was officially approved as the China Zisha Museum and was recognized as the first national museum in Yixing. The long history of pottery making and the splendid ceramics culture of Yixing is captured in the rich collections on display at the museum. Yixing, through our cooking, we found that it has a thousand years of human history, a thousand years of human history, a thousand years of human history, and a thousand years of human history. We have five hundred years of human history, a thousand years of human history. Yixing became the capital of the world today. It's the history of its history and history. 紫砂, a kind of stoneware, is a ceramic craft that falls somewhere between pottery and porcelain. There are three main categories of zisha clay. Purple clay, or zini, green clay, or liuni, and red clay, or hongni, more commonly known as rich soil. Yixing's Huanglong mountain range is the only known origin of this type of clay, so zisha is often called Yixing zisha. Why is it called zisha? Actually, in the history of the zisha, the name of zisha is a change of process. In our Ming dynasty, in the Qing dynasty, in the Ming dynasty, it's not called zisha. It's called zisha. It's called zisha. It's called zisha. So our river is called zisha, not called zisha. 那么紫砂壶是什么时候叫的呢？是民国的晚期，才正式叫紫砂壶。While Yixing has a history of pottery making that dates back over 7,000 years, zisha wasn't used until the Ming Dynasty, so it is closely associated with prosperity, the Chinese tea culture, and the Chinese emperor as well. 明代以前，我们这个茶不是这样的。散茶，不是冲泡的，而是点茶、茶饼。这种饮茶方式，它不需要我们的现在的这种泡茶的方式，而是一种煮茶、点茶。朱元璋废团茶，新散茶，好了，就为我们的紫砂壶提供了条件，就是散茶就不能用煮的形式了，就只能用泡，所以给我们紫砂壶创造了条件。Zisha and tea culture are interdependent and indivisible. But why is it that we can only experience the most primitive and pure taste of tea if it is brewed in a proper Zisha teapot? Why do I have to use Zisha to brew tea, and not use any other wooden bowl or bowl to brew tea? Actually, this problem is the Zisha material. It has a special quality. 第二是我们的制作的工艺，产生了里边的内部的这种机理，也就是它里边的这种双层双向的透气功能，和它鳞状分子排列的结构，这些都是其他材质所不具备的。Due to the fine plasticity of zisha materials, the process of molding zisha pottery involves a unique set of production methods and techniques. Modeled after the technical practice used by craftsmen over the centuries, there is a special proper series of handcrafted techniques that are used to make zisha pot. And it is largely this unique production process that has made Yixing zisha famous around the world. Zisha 
成型和镶片成型这两种成型方式所制作的紫砂器，才称为离心紫砂。In the 7,000 years since mid Neolithic times, ceramics has become the part of Yixing's cultural heritage, of which it is most proud. Numerous craftsmen in Yixing have created countless wonderful art treasures, including the pottery of the Han Dynasty, Celadon of the Jin Dynasty, Jun pottery of the Song and Ming Dynasties, Zisha of the Ming and Qing Dynasties, as well as today's contemporary color-glazed artistic and fine potteries. These beautiful historic treasures embody the charm of Yixing, the capital of pottery. And can only be fully experienced by visiting the China Yixing Ceramics Museum.